competitive corporations vie for domination, and where the weak are trampled by crowds. Never a dull moment, I can tell you. So if you want to work here, roll up your sleeves and get stuck in. Anybody out there like jazz? Cause I got two tickets to see the Dennis Rinse Cycle Quartet tomorrow night, and it promises to be a real jiving time. All you have to do is tell me the name of Dennis Rinse's first band. If you think you know, give me a call.
infection. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. and Wolf on Two Point Radio. We only had one caller for our jazz ticket giveaway, but luckily Tony Satsuma got the answer right. Dennis Rince's first band was the Hyper Hallucinogenic Freaky Lantern Jazz Trio. Try saying that in one take. Thank <laughs> you. 
My latest hobby is really connecting me with my more creative side. I'm learning to be a tattoo artist. You know how you can get cheap haircuts from students at barber school? Well, you can get real cheap tattoos from me. Just don't ask for anything too complicated. My speciality is small black dots.
Jumbo McNally, the greatest business leader in the world, will be presenting Jumbo's latest slate of minor upgrades at this week's Jumbo Expo. Buy your tickets now and don't forget to bring your credit cards. This is Two Point Radio. There's one thing I've learned in all my years in the radio game. It's never to do a broadcast alone in the studio late at night. I'm telling you, this place can be spooky. What was that? You hear the noise? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go check that out. When I come back, I'll have some tips for the paranoid among you.
for hints for tin foil hats and I'm here to tell you that if you think the government is bad just look at what the corporations are doing we got no privacy left they use their products to spy on us and turn us into good little consumers bottom line never buy a jumbo product no matter how cool it is we're sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor The Health Minister is arriving.
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Are you ready for some top-notch entertainment? Well, you'll have to settle for me, Ricky Hawthorne, here on Two Point Radio. And we start with this lovely number. Did I ever tell you about the time I was in a band? Hard to believe these days, but there I was, a long-haired bass player with the fry-ups, dreaming of glory. One of these days, I'll dig up one of our old demos and play it for you. Until then, here's a professionally produced compact disc recording by a band whose name I can't pronounce. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you love overpriced subscriptions with luxury packaging, uh, yes. here's the next link in the chain. Sausage Box, the only bi-weekly subscription that's filled to the skin with sausages. Mm -mm -mm. Get your neighbours to say, oh wow, nice sausage box. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. to injection room. Bye. 
in the news, a new study suggests going to a hospital could pose a risk to your health. After polling more than 200 people who had recently visited hospitals, the author of the report found many of them to be dead. More news in an hour.
I told you recently I was a bass player in a band called the Fry Ups. Well, I finally found a tape of our demo. So later on, you can enjoy the world premiere, 28 years after it was recorded, of Spoonful of Grease, written by yours truly. Enjoy. Some alarming reports of an earthquake causing considerable damage to a local hospital. Hope nobody broke anything, but if you did, at least you're in the right place for it. We're sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor.
has exploded. Doctor to psychiatry, please. Oh. Oh. Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. There was a protest outside the headquarters of Jumbo Corp earlier today, accusing the company of suffocating small businesses and employing strong arm tactics. Luckily, corporate security tear gassed the crowd and everything's back to normal. Super! Jumbo Corp boss Jumbo McNally visited a local hospital today in one of his routine Goodwill tours. A spokesman for Mr. McNally said he handed out discount vouchers on some of Jumbo's most popular snacks. Wasn't that lovely of him? Attention! Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated.
included in board. Every day, hundreds of pointians have their life force drained by corners they're not aware of. <laughs> Smooth yourself over by checking into an orb wellness center. Soak in the power of the orb. The orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. That takes me back, so it does. We could have been big, but as is usually the case, our big egos got in the way. We got into a big fight just because I kept turning the bass up in the mix. Would you believe it? Anyway, here's a song by a much less talented band.
Inspector now arriving at the hospital. I've been inundated with calls about my old band's demo, asking for copies at any price. Well, I hate to disappoint my legions of fans, so all four of you will be getting a tape of the Fry Up's rare and almost forgotten masterpiece. Send them this morning, second class. You're very welcome. Nurse to Clown Clinic. This is Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. I almost didn't show up for work today. Then I remembered how much you'd all miss me. So here I am.
I'd be keeping you company all through the night. Playing the only records this station can afford. Might need to open a can of palpitation to keep me awake. If you hear any snoring, just ignore it. The ups, the downs, the potential implications. Come to the Sloop this season and cheer on the team that plays there. Playing the sport that they play. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio.
restocking manually. I'm not going to say that all of the ills of Two Point County are down to Jumbo Corp. Then again, I'm not saying they're not. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the guy who puts on records, right? Like this frisky little number. Rival executive now approaching the hospital. today weird cloud formations spotted overhead clouds in the shape of bottle openers fuse boxes and this is the scary one mushrooms that's right mushroom clouds hovering over our homes over your children's schools time to dig out those bomb shelters and wait out the end of times
attempts to find a hobby stamp collecting I went down to the post office and bought all the stamps they had so I guess I'm done
New to the Cheesy Gubbins family. That's too cheesy flavor. Who needs new ideas when you can have more cheese? More cheese? Cheesy Gubbins presents That's Too Cheesy. Dare you? 24 hours a day. This is Two, two Point Radio.
It's not often one gets a look at Agatha Sphere, the reclusive leader of the Orb Foundation. But patients down at a local hospital saw her today when she popped in for a visit. No word yet on whether she tried to brainwash any of them. I was going to go to the zoo this weekend, but I was afraid they might not let me back out. And I'm not spending another weekend trying to convince the staff I'm not a hyena. They should listen to the radio more. What kind of hyena plays songs after all? Training course completed. 
Jammy Biscuit's recipe has been changed. Oh, subtly, yeah. But you can taste the difference. This is how it starts. First they replace our biscuits, then they come for us. You could wake up tomorrow with 10% more vanilla in your genetic makeup. Soon enough, the whole of Two Point will be taken over. Stay vigilant. Doctor needed in psychiatry.
This is Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Good day. That's no banality. Today really is a good day as we conclude the first instalment of Reading with Sir Nigel here on Two Point Radio. My days running a book club at the Daily Sneer were truly some of the best of my life, and I really do feel resuscitated to be at it again. Do join in the discussion, providing that your input is worthy of my time. Plans now arriving at the hospital. Cynthia Bungburn starts us off by saying, I like the way the characters do things and then things change based on what they do. That's clever, that is. Oh dear, someone clearly sat facing the wrong way at school, didn't they, Cynthia? I recommend trying something a little more appropriate and rudimentary. The back of a cereal box, perhaps?
breakfast. Oh, oh. Ubiquitous Jasmine Odyssey, a popular warbler among our uneducated youth, was seen visiting a hospital earlier today. Perhaps she underwent a vocal cord transplant and will now sing with something resembling skill. We can only hope.
Today's sponsor is Rent an Eel. Rent an Eel for all of your short term eel based needs. This is Two Point Radio. take a moment to discuss the excellent veneer of this tome. Whilst it might not compare to the leather-bound editions of old, there is certain modern class to its binding in print. I really rather like it. He who said don't judge a book by its cover probably only owned one kind of shoe polish. <laughs> recovery 
Let's take a step back and think about how this particular novel fits into Mr. Yeti's oeuvre. For the publicly educated amongst you, that's a term from the French for egg basket. The eggs in this case being books. One of you noted that it came after the ones before it and before the one after it. That's not bad actually. Moving on.
advancement, automated snack machines need restocking manually. Orchid Johnson writes in, Hello, so excited for book club, always wanted to do one, but never had the chance. My book didn't come in time, but I look forward to reading it when it arrives. Promise to plan better in the future, lol. I'll have a segment for you once you've done the required reading. Ubiquitous Jasmine Odyssey, a popular warbler among our uneducated youth, was seen visiting a hospital earlier today. Perhaps she underwent a vocal cord transplant and will now sing with something resembling skill. We can only hope.
tired of thinking for yourself? Hmm. Wish you could donate all your money. Aha! Join the Orb Foundation today. The Orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. We're nearing the end of the show, yet I fear that we've only started to scratch the surface of scratching the surface. A quick reading might accelerate the process. Here goes. <clears throat> First published by Damp Stamp Publishing, Flemington, Two Point County. Oh, I see what I've done there.
We shan't be doing this again, I think. But thank you one and all for allowing me to relive my glory days and see, once and for all, that they are behind me and truly dead forever. Goodbye for now. Attention. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. Just you said. What you're hearing isn't static or interference. It's Harrison Wolf. I'll be with you for the next few hours here on Two Point Radio, playing some sweet tunes just like this one. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not 
not be tolerated.
Talking about music, how important it is, how it makes you feel alive. But where's the actual live music in Two Point County? It's nowhere, man. That's why I've decided to organize a classic rock festival. Stay tuned for more details. Thank you. 
this. One lucky hospital had a visit from Augustus Lavender, the holistic CEO today. But I'm not sure anybody wants an emergency aromatherapy ward. Point Squabbler for all your local news. Two points of view on all subjects because you decide what's true. Serving Two Point Cody. This is Two Point Radio.
Kurt think this radio booth is airtight. I'm hearing there's a new epidemic going around. This hypochondriac ain't leaving the station till they find a cure, which means more music like this. First thing we're gonna need for our classic rock festival, a venue. 
There's a few obvious choices. Grog Ben's ring or that stadium where they play some sport or other. But really, what says rock better than the meltdowns? That's right, folks. This concert is going to be hot. Just like this song. Attention. Urinating. Anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. venue sorted for this rock festival we're gonna need some headliners feel free to send in your suggestions i'm already deep in talks with classic bands like atrocious blunder the shrieking pillows and satanic turnip it's gonna be a hell of a lineup in the meantime you can listen to this Thank you. 
Someone important is arriving. The Two Point Rock Festival is almost ready to happen. Over 20 bands signed up. I couldn't be more excited. All we have to do now is call up Town Hall and get the permit. Get ready to rock, people. Domesticated? Try litigating! The Bureau Cats are back with more wacky administrative mishaps than ever. The Bureau Cats? No amount of paperwork is going to stop these cats from landing on their feet. Watch Bureau Cats every day on Bungle Kids, 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
major bummer after talking to the mayor about our rock festival. Turns out a concerned citizen has filed a motion to deny our permit. The festival is dead. For now, friends. But rock and roll lives on. And here's a song that proves it. This next song is for all the hospital patients shaken up by that earthquake. Hope all your internal organs are still in the right place.
Found out who was behind that motion that killed our rock festival dream. None other than Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm not a violent man though, so all I did was lock him in the radio station's toilet, where I've been blasting some really loud music for the past three hours. Hope you like it, Nige. <laughs> Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Do not despair, radio aficionados. Your daily dose of worldliness and sophistication has arrived. I am Nigel Bickleworth, and this is Two Point Radio.
I feel it my duty to warn you about the dangers of traveling abroad. Not only will you encounter scoundrels who think nothing of pickpocketing your 19th century velvet wallet, but you will have to spend time at Grockel Falls Airport, a more ghastly place I cannot recall. Terrible things happen every day. You could lose a toe. Ah! Your house. Ah! Even your life. Ah! That's why you need insurance like Swindles Insurance. <sighs> Swindles, because peace of mind is worth a piece of your soul. This is Two Point Radio.
as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. Let us take a look at the proper behavior to exhibit when dealing with loud and unruly neighbors. The first step is to knock politely on their door, smile, and ask them to decrease their boisterousness. The second step is to call in the riot police and insist that they gas the hooligans at once. Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Yet another reason to avoid Crockle Falls Airport. You always find a group of those tiresome Orb Foundation acolytes handing out leaflets and chanting their damn mantras. The authorities really ought to do something about them.
Time for Sir Nigel Reviews. This week, I stayed at the Shaw Thing Hotel in Sweaty Palms. I went incognito, of course, which perhaps explains the appalling service I experienced. It also explains why none of the guests ever stayed more than an hour. I award it one star for the novelty of its rubber bed sheets. Training course completed.
tolerated. We all have our differences, don't we? Morning people, night owls, noon bandits. We come in all manner of wonderful flavors. But gubbins, gubbins come in just one. Cheesy gubbins! Cheesy gubbins. There are some things that we can all agree on. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio.
I hope you enjoyed that piece of sonic horse manure passing itself off as music. Maybe one day the station manager will listen to me and we can play some proper music. Bartok, Shistakovich, real composers. Training course completed. Maintenance announcement. Bins will become full. Toilets 
for question of the day in which I invite you to ask me anything you want no matter how difficult the subject. Our call is Patrick. What is your question, Patrick? Can you explain what a quantum harmonic oscillator is? Yes, I can. And we'll be back with another question of the day tomorrow.
I know you've missed me, but not to worry. The Ricky Hawthorne Show is back on Two Point Radio to chase away your blues, your reds, and even your yellows. Training course complete. Class dismissed. Now the news. The infamous Flemington litterer has finally been caught. The criminal, whose real name is Bertie Bramswaggle, is 72 years old and has been dropping litter for decades. His speciality was empty packets of crisps. I think we'll all sleep easier knowing Bertie is off the streets.
Strap on your face masks, because we're getting reports of a new epidemic. I wouldn't worry too much, though. Those fabulous men and women running the county's hospitals are sure to find a cure soon enough. And if they don't, there's still music like this to listen to.
The head of Bungle, Sophie Nova, dropped by a local hospital earlier today. She's said to have been shocked that the doctors there conducted so few experiments on their patients. It's nice to see she hasn't lost her sense of wonder. Patients for injection room arriving.
They said he was too old. They said he looked ridiculous. But when the world needs a hero, a hero must put on his spandex. This summer, Roderick Cushion returns as Perilous Spandex in Perilous Spandex 5, A Stretch Too Far. This is Two Point Radio. VIP arriving. Please prioritize their amusement. Go to patient will be. Doctor to Pan's lab, please. There's a new health company in town, and their innovative methods are causing quite a stir. I, for one, can't wait to be injured in some horrible way so I can see their work for myself. In the meantime, here's a song that's guaranteed to make you feel ill.
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Jumbo is introducing a new range of mobile phones that track your every movement, record everything you say, and make high-definition videos of everything you do. What a convenient way of keeping track of yourself. Thank you. 